What's the deal, yeah. man? I'm in this motherfucker, man. After a long, hard day of work at my house, you know what I'm saying? I was doing it oh, up, man. We seen the clips. You know what I'm saying? Chainsaw in the air, chopping trees down, you know what I'm saying? Digging shit up, you feel me? I got cramps everywhere because, you know, I ain't 100% healthy. I, I, I went in, I'm kind of old. I felt it last night. <laughs> I'm like, damn. Yo, listen, right? T Rail always calls me a big booty nigga. Now, it, now, pause them. Isn't like Blazzy also a big booty nigga, but Blazzy don't get it. Oh, my boy just shot a joke at Blazzy. Call my boy Blazzy a big booty nigga. He ain't black, so he a big booty mess. <laughs> I got his, but I don't got ass like. Come on, but Blazzy got some ass, my nigga. Blazzy got ass. I got hips. You looked at his ass, Lord. Nah, man. Not in the works. Blessy got ass. Pause, right? Come on. Oh my God, I'm cracking up, dog. HR, where's HR at? <laughs> I don't know what's going on in no jumper. Look, I just went got hair dressed, man. These niggas just gotta get, they, they gotta go get life, OG. <laughs> I mean, I'm saying this is uh, my monthly. It's falling out right now. See you know what I'm saying? Right now. See what I'm saying? Hairline's still crispy, but I'm going bald. You know what I'm saying? So it's gonna fall out. And then once it fall out, it's gonna grow back. And you'll know when it grow back, cause I'ma just have no hat on with a curls. You know what I'm saying? I'ma have a flat top. You know what I'm saying? And there it go. When it grow back, I'ma look like this. Subject, my boy really love his job. Look how far he is up on the desk. <laughs> hey, one day you come in, we're not working hard enough. Then the next day you come in, we're working too long. Right? Pick a I didn't say he was it's bad to love my job, man. You trying to recruit him for Cirilla? Yeah, I mean, Cirilla ain't leaking. You know what I'm saying? Cirilla ain't leaking until you. Yeah. That's my goal, huh? You got the weak ass ASAP song? Oh, the weak ass ASAP song. <laughs> That's not personal. a bar. That sounded personal. Oh <laughs> I got compliments from everybody else. Oh What's your name, man? I'm mad because I didn't get the bitches. It's all good. How the fuck do you even get those? I was like, oh, don't worry about it. Me and my nigga ASAP, you know, I had to tap in with him. Oh, what happened, bro? <laughs> I said, hey, I hope the baby's healthy and all, but uh, I'm just checking on them size 12s, you promised me. And he said, hey, it's all good, I got you. You know how that goes, bro? That's how you be with Travis. Yeah, you and, and Ty. Yeah, fuck out of here! <laughs> so, Academics did a fucking live stream a few days ago. Okay. And during that live stream, yeah, right? And he, like, spoke on people copying his style. Mm. The fucking fans were spamming that shit. What do right? you got to say about that? The fucking fans was out here spamming, oh, yo, the fat auntie from No Jumper. He's copying your shit, right? That's a new one. You feel me? Fat auntie is crazy, right? So then they pretty much like was tagging me and shit, trying to make it seem and seem like act would be for me with act. No, right? So then he called um, me his son. And again, Wait, what is it really a this if it's true? What did he? You're his son? Yeah. Well, he, I come from Lenny. being another nigga's nah, son. Nah, nah, that's nah, not yeah, that's that. that's nah. Nah, that's not. Nah. I just want to know how can you still be claiming? This nigga as your father, and he just dished you. you, you he just you said, listen, he, he just said, don't even compare him to you. To yeah, you. man. Listen, though, man. Um, I will always show love to academics because I fuck with academics. You feel me? No, honestly, I fuck with academics yeah. too. And like, I'm not finna sit there and have the whole boss talk. Like, niggas always want to throw the employee shit around, <laughs> whatever. But like, I never was like under his nutsack the way you were. So I'm like, I just want to know how you feel about him one acknowledging you. Yeah. And then to him kind of this not kind of this you. So this though, right? Um first of all, I feel great that he finally knows who Flacco is. That's that, that's good. That's a good way to look at it. I right. Guess. Now, in 12 months, I can almost guarantee that Ak will see me as a peer in 12 months. Yeah. We already have a top 5 most impactful hip hop show in terms of the Monday did show. You mean like in all of like rap media, or did you mean Cur in no listen, jumper? Wait, no, listen, right? Currently in 2022, there's no other show that's that's dedicated to rap, hip hop, and trending topics in hip hop, right? I don't know if that's true. That's know. more impactful at Devil Numbers than Bro, our you're show on episode currently. two. What are you yeah. talking about? You can't. Yeah. Who else though? What up? How you doing after your stream? Uh, I'm tired as hell. I didn't really get to eat uh, yet. Finally got to get some sleep, which I'm excited about. But 
I had to make this interview happen no matter what. I could not miss my opportunity to sit down with Sharp on the Sharp Tank. He in the administrator's office. He knows what time it is, man. He gotta come sit down with a real one, man. We're gonna have to kick this shit. It ain't over with yet. He got more to do. The fact that the, the previous two days before this uh, interview is just me being tortured in a room makes yeah. it, I think, like more legendary. We're definitely gonna talk about that, bud. <laughs> you and um, your, your, your torture trips, you know? You gonna talk about you getting fired? Oh my God. <laughs> we definitely got to talk about that. We are gonna do this one, man, for the fans, man, for real, because I know they like to see me and my son together. So we gonna sit down and we gonna do this shit for real and not for play. Let's, <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> hey, man, what'd you think of that, man? That was so Sharp good. experience. Every, like I said, every time we talk, we have really good conversations. And then like, as soon as, like a minute into it, I was very nervous because I had the jitters. But then two minutes into it, I was like, oh, this is just a normal conversation. And then it just flowed. Next thing you know, it was over. I was like, I wanted to keep talking, dude. You eat. We could have had four he hours. Brought a, he brought a lot of content to it, man. So for all the Yuri Sharp Tank fans, man, hey, get ready for this collab because it's going to be one for the record. Bro, Tank I just bitch. realized Trev is wearing robot shoes. What the fuck What's is the going fuck? on? Hold on. Yeah, what, yeah. <laughs> what is going on? Hey. Hey. You got these I joints. Right there is, is low key smacking. Oh, no. I ain't gonna front. I just got Van Lathan. He just walked in, man. We got other things to do, man. Yuri, I appreciate Thank you. you Thank you, bro. I through, appreciate man. you, man. Thank hey, you so man. much. Keep I'm watching. Good. No jumper, motherfucker. Let's go. Thank you, man. Oh, shit. Fire. <laughs> What's up, my guy? Hey, my God. You cannot wait. Hey, What's hey good, you know, baby? it's crazy. Because when I see, when I get the message to say, I can't believe I'm asking you this. But tell Sharp I want to sit down. Hey. <laughs> 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 Tell Sharp I want to sit down, man. We about to get ready to do Van Lathan. We about to do it, man. We on a time clock around this motherfucker, man. So let's go ahead. Let's get it. Big, big. Look at your shit. I'm talking about we went to the yeah. community, the politics. We went to all that, homie. Yeah, to me. This, this man right here, bro, I watch man. a lot of his work. Me and him a lot of life. Yo, Sharp is versatile, bro. Lazy, what are you doing today? Man, today I'm uh, tag teaming. What? I'm not. Pause. I'm sorry. I'm teaming up with uh, uh, with Sharp to uh, to interview Caskey. I'm on my third day here in a row. You going for MVP? I mean, tomorrow's fourth day in a row. I'm glad he might be MVP of the week. I didn't even give him the desk here. I so Bossa put me on and Calvin put me on, but I don't know what it is. It's just some good shit. It's Hawaiian barbecue. Yeah, man, some good shit. Is your first time having Hawaiian barbecue? Yeah, man, but like, don't give the uh, restaurant free clock though. Smell. Yo, but listen, man, give. Blasey, uh, that's a uh, that's an office, man. I grab a big ass fucking buildable table and just get busy here one Hold day on, and just put it right there. Yeah. Who gave you with the fucking Edgar cut, man? That's shit. Man, no, I didn't <laughs> cut it. I didn't cut it. That's crazy. It's getting a little too long now. This is a lot I haven't heard in like three years. That's not you got an the Edgar cut? cut? No. No. It's not an Edgar cut. The Edgar cut has way more on the side. Like you see, like a uh, like, like a clear like contrast. A soldier, right? It looks, yeah, it yeah, looks yeah. fluffy. The yeah, it looks, cut fluffy. looks heavy. It's getting close to it, bro. It's getting close. It's, it's, it's an Eddie cut right now. Oh, God, yeah. No, I was just saying, Matt, like, These are comfortable, his kicks man. are eyesore right now. We're the same shoe size, so I'm going to hook my boy up. You feel me? There's a lot of shoes I don't rock. That nigga got on them. Right. Mr. The Miyagi Sons. <laughs> yeah, man. He got on them, the Miyagi Sons. Yo, that what? nigga got on them Kareem Where? Abdul no Jabars. Uh, hey, put the kids in. Boy, he got on them Skippy 5000. Uh, we just got done. We just knocked out the motherfucking Caskey interview. How you feel about that one, Church? I feel really good, so check it out. I, in the morning, I'm like, man, you know what? Like, I don't really have a place to even. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not really part of the music industry. I'm not sure this is for me. Sharp was like, bro. Come on. I'm not a part Pull of the up. music industry neither. He's so I come down here, I'm like, all right, let's do this, bro. As soon as as soon as the cameras start rolling, bro, I started realizing like, damn, this shit's really fucking fire. You know why I told him just three minutes ago before the shit? I'm like, bro, why did we end so early? He's like, you didn't even want to pull up at one moment. You ain't even want to pull up. Because you know why, church? We do this shit for real and not for yeah. play, man. I only can say that because I really mean that. It's all unity. I'm gonna show you what we about to do, right? No, let's get it. We gonna wing it. Flacco, no script. Yeah, man. No nothing. This is no holds bar. Damn it, this a ladder match. Oh, shit. WWE. Facts, man. We about to get ready to sit down. Baby girl. Yes, sir. Come on now. That's All right. right. One more thing. This shit militant one style. One Look at her. Over here trying to be a thought bot already. <laughs> trying to ah, let her let everybody know where she at. Uh, Flacco. Yeah. Yo, man, listen, man. It's gonna be a lit interview, gonna be dynamic. I finally get to learn from the GOAT shot, man. No, sorry, the God shot. 
I'll just take the goat. She just wasn't being receptive, and I think it was time for her to leave. We're going to do it just like that. The Sharp Tank. Executive style. <laughs> no jumper. Sharpest, coolest podcast in the world. And guess what? When they don't want to be receptive and they don't want to listen, it's time for them to respectfully go. You rich! So who's going to fuck with you at that point? It's levels to this shit. Get off level one, and maybe you can get to level two. Wait for it. this, right? You go ahead and ask him that right. question. And you yeah. know what? We will respectfully. Of course. We will respectfully not waste any more of your time. Go ahead and ask a question, Church. If you're 28 years old, right? Yeah. Probably broke and not doing well, you feel me, level for shit name. Why not be receptive to a man who females come and pay for some game? You know, she got upset and she wanted to leave and that was fine. Nobody really disrespected that girl. She just didn't talk about anything. See, it's no substance. There's a lot of people that are just clout chasing and that's why we gotta put that shit to an end. I walked in perfect time. Hey, Duno, like, okay. looking fresh, my guy. My guy. You know, try, try, try. Looking fresh, bro. The shoes are little beaters, you feel me? The shoes look fire, though. They're cool. They just, they just a little dirty. I need to go by the suede thing, but you know, you feel me? We filming today. It's a film day. It's to be at home day. So on Wednesday, I, I, I take time to meditate and be comfortable right here at No Jump. Because I'm with the wordsmith, the Shakespeare of ism. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. He don't Tell them why you didn't have no bitty. You couldn't be playing in the streets. Well, who you had to pay? I had to pay pimping. <laughs> The you, fuck? You did? What? Like, I had to get that money, you know what I'm saying? Straight <laughs> off the motherfucking grid. You off did. the blade. Till you I been did. all cross country on the blades and shit. Till I yeah. mastered that shit. Yeah. And jumped to the carpet <laughs> one time. You fools. You about to learn something motherfucking today. Come on, Martina. We got some work to do, baby. We got uh, what's the profession? Uh, a motherfucking his old. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm a happy hooker. Oh, you know, hooker. I'm a happy hooker. What, what, BZL? No, I, look at, who, yeah. me? Yeah. Nigga, I'm 57 years old. This just me, you know what I'm saying? I eat salads and I eat, I don't got no BB, BBL, that big old ant. You look good though, yeah. Thank you, 57 years old. Wow, that's great. But I don't tell nobody, I just told you. I know. I tell everybody well, else. So the world of us is well, you know what, they gonna It's about to go down like the ground that you walk on. Hey, we just did a dope ass interview with Sharp. You feel me? With Martina, that shit was crazy. Y'all gonna see it. And we about to do it at the end of the day. So, boop, boop, follow the BBC too. Here on a Wednesday, very rare. Yeah, man. Okay. Oh, I should. I will put this shit on right now, bro. <laughs> if I didn't have this fucking nah, shirt good, on, bro. That matches yeah. the fit. But I gotta promote this shirt. Hey, start jerking, bro. <laughs> yo, hold up, yo. Yo, fuck all that, bro. Nah, I come here, bro. Hey! Hi. Hi. Sharp. We're Sharp the P in here. Hey, somebody in the chair for I said Blasi, I said Blasi can get in too, and Kiki. And Sharp, where's Sharp at? I said we doing a Royal Rumble today. We're gonna do a round table. We breaking all the rules. Oh, that was not a town. This we is how you break the views. The views will go crazy. So beautiful. You guys are really frustrated, Josh, right now, dog. She hates you right now. Man, come on, church. Take your hand off your chin, baby. Come on, man. We love you to death. Trying to break the ratings. We got everybody. What's up, y'all? So right now I'm surprising Terrell. It's his birthday. He has no idea. This is his last live show before his birthday. His birthday's on Friday. So he never asks for anything for his birthday. He never wants to do anything. He's always dry. So I'm like, I need to do a little something. So I have some balloons getting set up. They're gonna say happy birthday. So this is one of my big gifts. I got him a Jeff Hamilton. He's obsessed. Jeff Hamilton is my special guest today. He's gonna come up here, give Terrell the jacket. Terrell loves him, so hopefully he's surprised. <laughs> you know, all my Candles gifts, all my gifts are orange and wrapped in orange wrapping paper. So I might interrupt the live show and you know just send a little bit with my gift. <laughs> I have a special guest coming, so you know it's lit. Keep that shit on. Keep that shit on. I'm 
know you be cold in the house, huh? Yeah, I be like this. <laughs> oh, oh, I wonder what that stands for. Yeah. Oh, oh, man. Man. Nice. Okay, now I have one more gift. He's gonna come in right now. It's your dad. Open it. Open it. Oh, let's go. Okay. Look at him. Man, it's like it's too swaggy, man. From every rapper you know to man has went through this man. So to have this and have him sitting down is like I really appreciate it. Like, this is crazy. Like. It's my birthday, fool, you know what I'm saying? Craziest birthday ever at No Jeopardy, you feel me? Nigga shitting on these niggas, you know what I'm saying? Tacos, burritos, quesadillas, nachos, do it up, you feel me? Chicken going up, balloons, you feel me? Do it up. That's how we do it. Jeff Hamilton here. Let oh my God, honey. This might be better than Jeff Hamilton, man. Oh, man, look, bro. Oh, this is my best friend right here. This nigga always make sure he give me something for my birthday. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a shit if it's five dollars in the car. My shoes, my socks, man. You know what I'm saying? It's a shoe, man. It's my boy SV, man. I love him to death.